Hey guys, welcome. This is a general reading for the Collective of Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Welcome Cross Watchers. And for those of you who are brand new, happy to have you here. Um, so I'm bringing this to you uh, during the continuation of the Grand Water Trine, meaning there's a nice trine uh, in the cosmos between the water signs. So we could be in the fields that started around October 4th, moves through the 8th. So if you're still feeling a little something emotional, it's normal, especially for those of you who are here as the Cancerians. That's why I'm telling you that. Okay, and we just came through um, Mercury and, uh, oh, let me tell you exactly so I don't mess it up, Mercury and... I want to make this symbol, it's a square, Mercury and Mars squared yesterday on the 6th and we have the moon in Sagittarius as I record this here on the east coast of the United States and I'm recording a little bit in advance because I have another hurricane coming straight my way so I'm trying to get these readings done so that I can schedule them to be uploaded in my absence because this one I'm going to need to leave home for oh well wish me luck so what I'm doing is I'm going to pull from Gateway of Light Activation Oracle to activate the reading. Let's see what message comes through for you today. Here we go. Inner Earth. Base Chakra, Strength and Security, Laying Foundations. Okay, so while this may speak more to that root chakra um, need for security, Cancerians, right? Think of the crab. The soft underbelly of the crab stays close to the earth's surface and the sh hard shell protects it from the harsh world environment outside. So yeah, strength and security, laying strong foundations. I often think is the foundations card being that three of pentacles where we're working to build a strong foundation upon which to um, grow a relationship, let's say. So nice card. All right, so I'm going to, um, well, I was going to, let me try again. Uh, I'm going to pull the cards, give you my general impressions. Uh, do keep in mind it's a general reading, not a private, so it may not resonate for everyone. Take what speaks to you, leave what doesn't. And um, I do offer private readings. There's always a link bet uh, bet below every video. You may need to scroll a little bit. It will take you to my booking page um, and as always things can come through reversed um, so take it as it speaks to you what that means is i may be talking to a cross watcher here we go ah so we're looking at maybe an offer maybe a new beginning and what's challenging us well there's the cancerian card chariot it's about progress moving forward Yes, so there is a little bit of challenge with moving forward with regard to a new beginning or an up-leveling or an offer coming in, in the, the root of the problem, yes. Um, seven of Swords, somebody avoiding or maybe pulling a fast move here in the past. Nine of Pentacles, yeah, maybe you've been on your own here, um, minding your own damn business as they like to say. And now you're flooded with worry, anxiety. I'm almost looking at this as if there might have been an offer on the table for some kind of um, a promise for the future, an engagement, maybe even moving in together, up leveling in some way where you've been on your own, you know, and now you've been, it's been thwarted somehow, no forward progress. But it's going to turn around, Cancer. So let's not, or whoever you are watching, like I said, could be talking to a cross watcher. So let's not spend too much time in the realm of worry and, um, and sleepless nights, okay? Because it looks in the near future. Now, if you missed it, I'm going to say to you what I said to Gemini, because the same situation happened. Please go to the October 2024 Love Tarot Monthly Energy Update. I know it's a mouthful, but I do a spread at the beginning of every month, which lays out the month week by week by week. 
So if you go to that, it is even time stamped. I do a little oracle. I did the tarot spread first this time, which was new. And then I do the astrology for the month with the whole tarot spread there. So you can see week by week what's happening in the cosmos. And then, you know, as above, so below. And it turns out that all the ish is in kind of weeks one, two, three. And then by the end of the month, we make peace. Okay, we get there. So please go watch that if you haven't. Um, I do it for a reason to kind of help you all understand how it's all going to play out. All right. Ace of Pentacles in the Chariot. Ooh. Lovely. All right. So, yeah, uh, things might be a little bit bumpy here. You're going to need to trust your intuition. We have this beautiful connection that is in a little bit of bumpy waters because nothing's moving forward, right? You're walking into this reading saying, but Laura, there's something, you know, we're supposed to be doing, there's supposed to be an offer on the table here. Thought we were moving forward, thought we were having this new beginning, thought there was whatever it is, whatever that Ace of Pentacles is for you. And the challenge, because this should be sideways, right? It should be what's crossing you. The challenge with the chariot is there's no forward progress. And so that six of swords is about moving forward, getting beyond the turbulence, getting to calmer waters with this connection, two of cups. And the, uh, the high priestess is coming through as, you know, like, what is your intuition telling you? What do you know to be true? Like, I know, like, I know, like, I know. All right? Because otherwise you could fall prey to, um, to this, which isn't going to serve you. So I feel like the high priestess is coming in here to say, you, you, you have the capacity to get beyond this turbulence, but you have to trust your intuition. And I have been teasing out that I'm going to do a course on intuition um because i kind of am really good at it but i'm old that's why 63 like you learn um but i don't know if i want to do a workshop like a live workshop or if i want to do a course that spans out a few days i don't know tell me what you think in the comments i would still do the course live but it wouldn't be like a live long four hour workshop or something it would be maybe an hour a couple days over yeah let me know what you think Okay, so trust your intuition that you'll get beyond this. You'll move to calmer waters because you got this challenge about nothing's moving. And at the root of it all, there's, there's like, can I trust this person's intentions? You're going to suspicion. That is not intuition. It's a lower vibration. Okay. And it's threatening your root chakra. You're not feeling safe. <laughs> right? Oh, I can, I can sense it. Nope. Uh, we're not moving forward. We're going, things are moving slow or not at all. Got to start again. Baby steps here. But that page of pentacles is like, wh what do I need to learn? Right? Page of pentacles is about being in a new environment, this is something new to me. I have something to learn here so that I can move forward. And the Knight of Pentacles is sort of the clue. So when I'm pulling for the, from the bottom of the deck, for those of you who are new, hi, um, I'm tapping into something you can't see. So it's either in your own unconscious awareness, which means it resides in the psyche, or it's playing out behind the scenes. What I'm here to tell you is don't get so suspicious and worried. It could just be that you're, you're dealing with somebody who moves slower or who's really wanting whatever this Ace of Pentacles is about. They're wanting it to be legit. So they're really beginning with the end in mind. They're taking their time. They're moving deliberately, intentionally, methodically with a plan. Sorry, everybody's hitting me because it's hurricane planning time and everybody's scrambling. Okay, so my apologies. I thought I had it off. Right? So the root of it is you're not trusting, you're not sure you can trust this person's intentions, but what you can't see is they're being very consciously intentional about it all. Nine of Pentacles in the past. Hmm. 
And there's, there's our uh, Three of Pentacles, the, the solid foundation. Nine of Pentacles, Hermit, Lover's card, and underneath is Three of Pentacles. I feel like you did a lot of work to get to this point, right? To find this kind of a sacred connection, to be with somebody who would be invested, who wanted the same kind of a connection, that would invest in, in, in building that kind of a foundation. I feel like you did a lot of inner work. You were willing to be on your own for a very long time, independent, autonomous, self-sustaining, forging your own way through life. You may be someone who has strong Virgo in your chart or Virgo influences in your life. Not necessary, but I'm feeling it. But now that intuition is, it's, um, it's waning. It's like you're not, you're not trusting it. So let's see this Nine of Swords. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you're totally freaked out here. This is the, oh my God, it's over, it's ending, it's dead, it's not, right? So, I'm here for a reason to help you. Underneath is our Queen of Swords. Somewhere within you is the rational mind, is the non-emotional side that can check all the emotional stuff at the door and be level-headed and practical, right? This has got to go. We've got to, like, summon her, summon her. Seance, I don't care what you do. you got to summon her to the surface. Rise up, Queen of Swords, because you're falling prey to suspicion, worry, all the lower vibrations. There's a whole scale of vibrations, and you're in the deep dark of it right now. So, and that, and it, and it's conscious. It's like you can't kind of get out of it. And I told you, there is a grand water trine right now of some serious heavy water energy. So you're in the feels of it. And then, you know, Mercury and Mars are duking it out. So communication is off and there's tensions rising and you're in the depth of the water. It's like you're sinking fast. So summon your inner queen of swords to the surface to say, it's okay. Let's look at this rationally, logically. Laura said, there's a logical explanation I might be dealing with somebody who's a little more methodical and deliberate and intentional about things who moves slower than I might like and I'm reading into something too, too deeply at a sensitive time for me. I'm not trusting my intuition here. Because in the near future we have the Six of Wands Yep, you got somebody coming in <laughs> trying to make peace and saying, yeah, my bad. I, I, I feel so bad about this that I was kind of standoffish and maybe a little distant and maybe a little bit resistant. And here's your freaking Ace of Pentacles. Okay, it's coming around. It's coming around. Sometimes, and you are the Aries, Taurus, Gemini, you're the fourth reading in the row. Different decks, different signs. Not necessarily a different day because I'm knocking out some readings in a row here, but different decks and different signs that this combo has been coming through. Regrets for the defensiveness. Regrets for the resistance. Regrets for and... But, but let's reconcile it. Like, let, let's make peace around this. Yes, I do want what you want. 
Yes, of course. Let's move forward. Let's get to calmer waters. And so, like I said to Gemini, I'm going to say to you, it's all going to be okay. They love you. It's going to be okay. There's going to be a little bit of a bumpy road along the way until we get to the end of the month. A little, little bit, a little bit bumpy. But you're going to hear, yeah, my bad. Like, that is not what I intended. Or, right, that was not what I intended. I, I, just, I, I was getting there. I was getting there, but I pushed you off, and I'm sorry that I or kept pushed you back. And where you went in your head was this person screwing me over. See? So, she's your new best friend. Pull her right up to the top of the surface. Um, I am going to do an extended reading. And I want to kind of like tap into this Knight of Pentacles, which is who I think it is that we're dealing with here. Somebody who's kind of wanting to go at their own pace. Um... We're going to look at them in more detail. The links are below. Link one is a monthly renewal. Okay, so it's for cancer monthly renewal. The second option is an extended just for this reading only. And the third is the all access pass. So we're going to look at how this person sees this connection. That might help if you're going like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. What is What are their intentions? That's where you go to find out. Okay, and then... Um, yeah, before I give you the astrology, if this was a, wow, she she saw that coming and that's what's happening and you haven't yet done so, please subscribe below. That's my ask. That's what we're doing here. I bring the reading. You bring the subscription. Okay. Thank you in advance for doing so. Here are the astrological associations. We have chariot is Cancerian energy. The high priestess is also cancer, by the way, because she's the moon. So I have been corrected on that. And Page of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Cap, Cap, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, the Cancerian chariot came out twice, by the way. So definitely a cancer reading. Virgo in the house with the, with the Knight of Pentacles, more Virgo in the Nine of Pentacles, more Virgo in the Hermit. That's why I said if you got some Virgo in your charter or you were really influenced by Virgo, definitely a confirmation there. Uh, the lover's card is Gemini. We have death is Scorpio. Queen of swords is Libra. Nice and balanced. We're in Libra season as I record this. That's what I have for you and your beautiful inner earth base, base chakra strength and security laying foundations oracle. And I'm headed to the extended now. I will see you there in a second. Bye for now.